Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before I get started with today's video, if you guys are new here, my name is Evan. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel for more BMW and E46 related content. Also, check out my Amazon affiliate link down below. It helps out the channel at no cost to you, so please consider using my Amazon affiliate link when shopping on Amazon. In this video, I will be going over Pro Tool, and if you guys do not know what Pro Tool is, it's basically a replacement for Impa and NCS Expert that runs on an Android tablet and it connects over Bluetooth or a KDKN cable. It's really cool. It basically is Impa and NCS Expert in one app. You can do vehicle order change, you can code new modules, you can delete modules, you can add functions like you would in NCS Expert, all in English, all from an Android tablet. However, before I show you guys this, I have something really cool to show you. So let me show you that now. So I want to show you guys this sick new air fridge that they sent out to us. It holds 125 cans. If you guys are interested in purchasing this fridge, use the discount code Evan to save some money on this fridge. This fridge is really sick because it has what's called a turbo mode. Yes. This fridge has a turbo mode, not an actual turbo, obviously, but basically if you want to chill down beverages, you press it and it can chill beverages really quickly within an hour. It also has a sick party mode that if you're expecting people over and you want the fridge to stay cold because people keep opening it and closing it, it will keep it extra cold for your beverages. So take a look, this is awesome. Right now there's basically water and some ginger ale, but it can hold 125 cans, absolutely sick. If you're interested in purchasing, please check out the link below with discount code Evan. I'll also have that down below. And huge shout out to New Air for sending out this fridge. If you guys have any questions about this fridge so far, it's been great for, it's been great as a shop fridge in the garage. But if you guys have any questions about this fridge, drop them in the comments below. I really like the design of this fridge. It is very sleek and modern. I think it's great for a shop fridge just due to the size and how much it can hold. So guys, check it out in the link below. So I just wanted to give you a look at what Pro Tool is made up of so when you buy pro tool we got the master bundle and what you get is you get a license for pro tool that runs on an android phone or tablet we also get the beamer geeks k plus decan cable and a k-line adapter this is a really good k plus decan cable the quality of it is really good you also get a usb to usb c adapter if you'd like to plug it into your tablet However, we've been using it with this. It's a Bluetooth adapter made by Beamer Geeks as well. With the master combo or master license, you get both coding and diagnostics. If you would like to just use coding, you could buy that. Or if you'd like to use the diagnostic feature, like we have both, you can get that as well or together. So basically it's kind of tailored to your needs, but I do recommend getting the master bundle only because you never know when you're gonna to need to diagnose your car. And unlike Impa, these codes are all in English. Everything's very easy to understand and replicate yourself, even if you're following NCS expert coding instructions. Like we were trying to get rid of Matt's tire pressure monitor sensors and we didn't have NCS expert with us on the time, but we were able to use Pro Tool to fully disable everything in the modules and do and pull out a specific code from the vehicle order and then rewrite the vehicle order to the cast very easily because it's all in English and very intuitive. So we're just gonna go over an overview of using this. One thing I should note is it currently doesn't support the E46, E39, and E38, but support should be added in the future, and they're looking at expanding to the F-Series as well. So just wanted to give that as a note for my E46 viewers. Okay, so we are now connected to the car with Pro Tool. We're just going to go over how you can diagnose your car with Pro Tool, and this is going to give you the BMW-specific code, not just the generic P0 whatever code. So if you see me looking down, I am gonna be doing screen sharing on the tablet so I can show you everything inside of Pro Tools. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on vehicle and then we're going to click read all errors. And it's as simple as that. It is now reading all the errors of every single module. So we can see it's checked every single module and we can see some of the ones that no errors found, no errors found, no errors found. If we look under the FRM, we see low beam left faulty. Matt knows that he has an error with his low beam lights that he's trying to fix. We also see there's a ride height sensor that's faulty. Another one is the mirror, the passenger mirror is faulty and that's where the car was actually hit, so that makes sense. And that's about it for errors, like some of the big ones, but you can see all the other ones for the DSC, no errors found. The MRS, no errors found. The AMP has no errors. So you can kind of go through and see them. You can save your errors and you can clear them. We're not going to clear the errors because Matt's still trying to diagnose what's actually wrong with this car. So he doesn't want to clear an error and then not be able to determine what it is. But however, obviously if you clear the error and the 
and the car still thinks it has an error, it will shortly return. But it's a good indication when you buy a new BMW, grab all the errors, clear them, and then see what ones come back. And Pro Tool allows you to do that, especially if you're looking for a new BMW. Pro Tool is great to have because you can run it on your Android phone and have a Bluetooth mod, a Bluetooth adapter plugged into the car. And there's no need to carry around NCS Expert and Impa on a laptop nowadays. This is kind of like the new NCS Expert and Impa all in English, which is great. All right, we are now going to show you how to code something very easily with Pro Tool. This would be like going in NCS Expert, reading a module, going into the trace file, editing it, and then writing it back to the car as a man file. Pro Tool makes it very easy. So as you can see on the screen under Pro Tool, depending on what module you want to code, if it's the drive chain, the chassis, safety, or entertainment, but we're gonna go in under interior because what I will be showing you guys how to code is the digital speedometer on your dashboard. So that's under interior and then it's under combi, which is for the cluster. And then you can read specific errors for just the combi if you wanted to, or you can clear the errors and see live data, but we're gonna go under coding and then default coding will write the car back to default. So if you made any mistakes coding, you can just write back to default. But we're going to click edit coding. It's going to make up a backup file for coding, which is great. So if anything happens and you even have to name it, so we're going to name it. And then under coding, you can see the combi version that you have. And then there's popular standard and expert. Most of everything you would want to code usually is in a under popular or standard expert mode can screw some things up so you really have to know what you're doing inside of expert mode but to code the digital speedometer you can see everything is in english you have the german one which is bc underscore digital underscore v and then above that you have the english one which is really cool you can even correct the speedometer there's so many different options that you can code but like we said we're just going to show you coding one option you can go online and you probably know all the coding options you would like to code if you're interested in pro tool so we can click on it and we can click enable once that's done, we can click finalize. And then you can hear the car beeping right now and it says, please cycle your ignition. So we're gonna do that now. And now that the ignition is cycled back on, that option should now be coded to your car and we will show you that now. It now has the miles per hour, the digital speedometer coded on Matt's BMW E93 using Pro Tool. As you saw, it was super simple to do. All right, so we also wanna show you a couple options that you can do inside a Pro Tool that you'd be able to do with Impa or NCS Expert. So if we click on vehicle, we can also read the vehicle order and modify the vehicle order. We can swap the battery. So when you get a new battery in a newer BMW, as you know, you actually have to register it to the car for how it charges it from the alternator to get the best battery life out of your battery. But you can also reset maintenance lights. Matt actually has a maintenance light that needs to be reset on his car so we're going to show you guys that too so if you click on maintenance reset and then you can pick which one you would like to reset so he thinks the one that we need to reset is service so i think we're going to go with service and show you guys how to reset it so if we click service are you sure you want to reset this interval bam that's how easy it is to reset maintenance intervals on your bmw which especially with these newer bmws there's so many different service lights that come on for as you saw let's go back if we go there's inspection service admission oil interval front brakes rear brakes brake fluid cabin filter spark plugs and coolant so whenever you do one of these fixes or changes on your car you should definitely reset the service interval so you don't really need to have a oil sticker because the car already knows which is great and brakes too for the most part however it's not a hundred percent accurate bmw does like you to reset it and that's what would that's what they would do if you went to a dealer so the next thing i wanted to show you is the vehicle order so we can see the vehicle order right here we can see everything about the car we can see it came with the multifunctioning steering wheel sports steering wheel integrated universal remote control comfort access sports seats so if you were to add something to your car that the car didn't come equipped with let's say your car didn't come equipped with sports seats you need to add that to your vehicle order and you can do that inside of and you can do that inside of ncs expert but it's kind of complicated pro tool makes it very easy to do this you can just press edit and you can edit the actual vehicle order matt got rid of like i said his tire pressure monitor sensors and we just went in here and deleted the vehicle order for the tire pressure monitor sensor so the car thinks it no longer has that which you is very important when coding new things so if you didn't have xenon headlights you could go in and add it and 
anything else if you wanted to add or delete to the car if you removed it or retrofitted it into your car which is super cool and it's kind of a pain inside of NCS Expert so very easy to do with Pro Tool. All right, so to conclude this video on Pro Tool, Pro Tool is a great BMW diagnostic and coding tool for anyone. It's super easy to use. Even shops are using Pro Tool versus having a laptop that requires a lot of so a lot of complicated software to set up and a lot of hardware. Pro Tool is easy to install. It's in the Google Play Store, easy to install, runs on any Android tablet as long as you have a internet connection to actually get it and get the license from Pro Tool. With this being said, if you guys would like to buy Pro Tool, link will be down in the description. If you guys have any questions about what Pro Tool can and can't do, leave them in the comments below. Like I did mention earlier, unfortunately, it does not support the E46, E39, and E38, but it should eventually support them. And that would be a great addition to this application to support the E46, E39, and E38 because you really need NCS Expert or Input for those cars, which kind of stinks, and I wish you could use it on Android. But with that being said, that is all I have for today's video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and please, guys, if you are not using the Amazon affiliate link, please consider using my Amazon affiliate link as it helps out the channel at no cost to you. Thank you, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.